Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again with another LaunchBox tutorial. Today we're going to be covering Atari Jaguar. Now, I've always loved this system. I was never able to get my hands on one when I was younger, but I've always wanted one. All I've been able to do is emulate it. We're going to be using RetroArch for this. Now, there's not that many great Atari Jaguar games, but this is awesome to add to your LaunchBox collection. There's a few things you're going to need before you start. First up, you're going to need some Atari Jaguar games. So there's a bunch of file extensions that the core we're going to be using in RetroArch supports. I've created a little text document over here. I'm going to open this up, snap it to the side. Here are my games. They're in a folder on my desktop called Atari Jaguar. Some of them are .jag, some of them are .rom. This little text file can be downloaded from the description below. Emulator used, we're going to be using RetroArch. The core is Virtual Jaguar. And the ROM game format, there's several we can choose from. J64, JAG, ROM, AVS, COF, BIN, and PRG. Mainly, I'm going to be focusing on the .jag and .rom. This is the associated platform, and this is the default command line parameter we're going to be using. So that's available in the description for ease of use. Next thing we need to do is place our Atari Jaguar games in our LaunchBox directory. Mine's located on my C drive, Users, ETA Prime, LaunchBox, Games. I'm just going to place this right in here. Now they're portable if we ever want to transfer our LaunchBox build. We're going to back up once in our LaunchBox directory and go to our emulators folder. Now, if you don't have RetroArch set up, Brad and Jason have created awesome tutorials. I'll leave a link down below so you can get that set up. If you got it set up, then you're good to go. We're going to launch RetroArch one time. We need to download the Virtual Jaguar Core. So from here, we're going to go to Online Updater, Core Updater. Scroll down until we see Virtual Jaguar. Right here, it'll download pretty quickly. We can now exit RetroArch. So we got everything we need. Let's go ahead and start LaunchBox. So first thing we need to do inside of LaunchBox is edit the RetroArch emulator. So we're going to go to Tools, Manage Emulators, find RetroArch, Associated Platforms. We're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom. And that text file I have in the description is going to come in very handy for you. Let me get this down below here. So for our associated platform, we're just going to make a new one and call it Atari Jaguar. And for our default command line parameter, we're just going to copy everything from minus L all the way to the end. Right click, copy, and we're going to paste it right here in our default command line parameter. This is going to tell RetroArch to use the Virtual Jaguar core when we start an Atari Jaguar game. Make sure this is checked, click OK, close. Now it's time to import our games. We're going to go to Tools, Import, ROM Files. From here, we're going to click Next. I'm going to add that folder that I put in my LaunchBox directory, my Atari Jaguar games. So we'll go to Games, Atari Jaguar. LaunchBox is going to sort through here and find all of the games inside of this folder for us automatically. Click OK and Next. Platform for imported ROMs. Drop down menu. Find Atari Jaguar. Next. Choose an emulator. RetroArch should be chosen, but if it's not, just drop down and choose it here. Next. I'm going to use the files in their current location because I already placed them in my LaunchBox directory. Search for game information from the LaunchBox games database. Make sure that's checked. Click Next. Would you like to download images for your games? Of course we would. Next. If this is your first time importing anything into LaunchBox, you might be prompted to sign into EMU Movies. It is free to use, but you can also donate to EMU Movies to unlock extra downloads per day. It's definitely worth it. Click Next. Would you like to specify any custom options? Not for Jaguar. Next. From here, it's going to show us the name of the game, the file location, and the extension. Like I said in the beginning, I have some .jag and .rom games. 
click Finish. LaunchBox is now going to import all of our games, download the metadata and artwork. This could take a little while depending on how many you're downloading, so just let it finish up. You have a progress bar at the bottom. All right, my Jaguar games were imported successfully. I'm gonna click OK. Over in the left-hand column, you should now be able to select your Atari Jaguar. And here's my games. Looks like it scraped everything pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and start a game. Let's do Alien vs. Predator. Mine as well. Double click, grab my controller. And we're now playing Atari Jaguar. I have my FPS listed in the top left hand corner. Now in my opinion this doesn't need to be accurately emulated as long as it's running at 60 FPS and there's no graphical glitches. It's good to go for me. Get away from that Marine. Airlock is pressurizing. I guess it means it's loading the next section of the game, which is actually pretty cool. just press escape on my keyboard or if you have the paid version of LaunchBox and you've set up controller automation you can use your hotkey that you set up to exit. So that's it for this video guys we really appreciate you watching if you could hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to the LaunchBox channel for more great content. I know Atari Jaguar isn't the greatest system in the world but it's definitely worth adding to your LaunchBox collection. If you guys have any questions leave a comment down below and like always thanks for watching.